As an educator who works supporting children's emotional growth, I'm recognizing the extraordinary need right now for children to release so much of what's inside of them. Children are filled with more alarm and more frustration right now than ever. We all are, but children even more so. And I'm, I, I'm thinking, what can I do here at this time to support children in finding some release, some, some way to help them get some of what's inside and out? So what I thought I would do right now is over these next few weeks is to share some of the concepts from my books um, just for free, just to support families who are at home with their kids so that they can use this in their living rooms with their children. Or if you're an educator and you're working online to help kids find some emotional release through play and movement. So um, how it's going to work is I'm going to just read um, a concept from one of my books. Um, this week, I'm going to start with um, one from I Can Dance My Dinner. I'm going to use the concept of mashed potatoes. Um, and we're going to have to use a play and movement um, and explore what would it be like to be mashed potatoes. I kind of wanted to pick this one first because I don't know about you guys, but I'm finding my household's getting kind of silly with being inside so much. So I thought, why not harness that and pick one of the silliest ones? And I've always found, found that children really had fun um, kind of like pretending and moving like to be ploppy, sloshy mashed potatoes and it can get out a lot of release because it's a very one that's a very heavy sort of uh, fun movement experience. Using movement as an emotional release can be very powerful for kids because it harnesses what they already naturally do. Kids tend to want to move their bodies. They tend to release in that way. And um, if you add music to that combination, it's very powerful as, um, as a way to give kids this, um, this sort of a, a place to rest, a little a bit of emotional rest, um, a release of what it feels like once you've got this out. Um, so you don't have to worry about doing this. Uh, feel free to join in if you want to. I've always found that connecting in this way through play and movement with children can be such a powerful way to build a relationship. Um, even if you're doing this online, you can connect with your students. You could be uh, moving on one side of the screen while they're moving on the other side of the screen. But uh, that, that's not necessary if you don't want to. If you don't want to, you can just press play after this because there'll be a section that tells you to pause. And um, I will lead the way for the children. They'll hear my voice. They'll hear my voice reading the, the one page and then they'll hear my voice behind the music guiding their bodies through the movement and play experience. So um, over these next few weeks, we'll be exploring different concepts from things from the outdoors or textures or colors or animals, um, different, different things this way. But today, like I said, we're gonna start with um, mashed potatoes from I can dance my dinner. So press pause now, and when your children are ready to um, explore this, it's only a one minute uh, experience and a one minute release. So when they're ready, I'll read to them and then they can uh, have fun doing this for a minute. I'll see you soon. Hi, I'm Hannah. Today I'm going to be reading to you from my book, I Can Dance My Dinner. Yes. It's very silly to imagine dancing like your dinner. In fact, today, we're gonna to pretend to be mashed potatoes. Can you imagine being a mashed potato? Can you imagine being a sloshy, ploppy plop of potatoes on someone's plate, having no arms and no legs, and just being a little pile of sloshy potatoes? Well, today we are going to pretend to be that and imagine what it would be like. If a potato could get up and dance off the plate, that's what we're going to do today. I can dance mashed potatoes. When I dance mashed potatoes, I'm ploppy and heavy and sloshy. I stomp slowly and hang down low. I pretend my arms are like melted butter dripping off of me and I have sloppy, ploppy jumps. Mush, mush, plop. Maybe close your eyes for a moment. Just close your eyes. I'll close my eyes too. Let's close our eyes and imagine being a mashed potato. Imagine if you were a little pile of potatoes covered in butter on a plate. Well, and now you're going to get up and dance. Just what it would be like to feel like as if that's what you were. So how this is going to work is like this. I want you to look around the room for a moment and find a little spot that you can go to. Find a little spot and you're going to roll into a little ball in that spot in, that, in, that, in your room. And when the music comes on, you're going to get up and you're going to dance like a mashed potato. And when the music comes off, as soon as it goes away, you're going to get right back into a little ball. 
For some of us, our bodies don't get into little balls very well. Our bodies work differently than that. Everybody's body is different. So if you're a person that can't or doesn't wish to get into a little ball, instead you can just freeze exactly where you are. And when the music comes on, you're going to get up and move. And as soon as you don't hear the music anymore, freeze right back to where you were. So that's how we're going to do it. And you're not going to have to worry at all about what to do. Because as the music's on, you're going to hear my voice. I'm going to be with you, guiding you and being a mashed potato with you. You won't see me anymore so that you can do your own imaginary play in the room, however you are, but you're going to hear me. You're going to hear my voice as we do it together. So look around the room now, find a spot. I'm going to count to three and then it's going to come on and we're all going to be mashed potatoes. Are you ready? One, two, three. Mashed potatoes. How could you dance mashed potatoes? Can you take big, floppy, sloshy steps? Can you bend over and your arms are like melted butter dripping off of you? Sloshy, floppy jumps. What would a mashed potato jump look like? Would it be a sloshy jump? Would it be messy? You could lay on your tummy and Slowly move your arms on the floor, trying to get across to the other side of the room. But it's hard because you're so slow and sloshy. 